Well, hello everyone. <laughs> uh, you join me um, halfway between Scotland and the Isle of Man. <clears throat> I'm paddling across from the Isle of Whitton to the Isle of Man to collect my new sea kayak. And um, yeah, it's just very exciting really. I can't believe I'm here. Um, set off at uh, just gone half past seven this morning. Um, <clears throat> it's gone ten now. So it's about 30 kilometres across from the Isle of Whitton to the Point of Air on um, the Isle of Man. So I've just uh, just passed 15 kilometres now. <clears throat> so going well. Um, a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, beautiful conditions. Um, light winds. A little bit of wind against tide, but nothing to worry about. Um, otherwise, just fantastic. Haven't seen anything big yet. No basking sharks or whales. But uh, keeping my eyes peeled. So I'm uh, meeting uh, Stephen, who built my kayak. Big pond, big pond kayaks. Um, I'm getting a, a Manta, which is an expedition sea kayak that he designs and builds. And he's very kindly sponsored me for my forthcoming uh, year-long paddle around Scotland. So um, I'm dropping my this kayak off with him, Sawira, and uh, he's going to look after her and mend her up for me. Uh, sorry, rather than mend her up, sort of refurbish her for me. And then when I've finished my trip, I'll have two sea kayaks. So um, I'll be very lucky. <laughs> so as with all open water crossings, there's that sort of interminable period of leaving the shore behind me and seeing the, the shore sort of gain in definition ahead of me. But I can definitely see that I'm making progress and beginning to make out uh, features on the Isle of Man now, which is which is lovely. Well, I'm uh, two thirds of the way across, and I can see Point of Air Lighthouse quite clearly now. Um, yeah, it's going well. Beginning to tire a little bit, I think. Not as fit as I'd like to be, <clears throat> but anyway, I've been paddling quite hard without a break. So uh, yeah, I've just uh, paddled 20 kilometres so far, um, quarter past 11, doing so and doing well, really pleased. That's yeah, lovely. My paddles are fantastic. <laughs> Look at these uh, ultralight paddles sponsored by Aquabound. And uh, yeah, they're just, um, I think, certainly adding to my speed and endurance. But no, things are going well. And um, in about two hours, two and a half hours, I'll probably be across, which would be good. And then the rest of the afternoon just to unwind and have a good look at my new kayak. <laughs> so I'm uh, five kilometres away from uh, the Point de Verre, according to my GPS. And uh, <clears throat> my speed has slowed a bit. Uh, they're quite strong tides around the headland here and I'm having to adjust my course to make sure I don't get swept out into the Irish Sea but um, all is going well well made it <laughs> well not quite on the shore yet but I'm there I think Whew me um, a bit longer than I anticipated 
I was going well when uh, I think I last spoke to you, but um, the last couple of hours uh, I've been paddling into the tide, which uh, really slowed me down. <clears throat> the tide runs very strongly around the point of air, and uh, I had to uh, ferry glide against the flow. I think the uh, tide's changed now anyway. So I'm, <laughs> I'm having to ferry glide in the opposite direction. Um, it's always a good uh, feeling when uh, you can see the surf on the shore. It means uh, within reach you can actually hear it as well, which is good. So a little bit further than I anticipated, I think I must have uh, Put on an extra couple of kilometres somewhere on the line. But at a good crossing. And I'm glad I've done it. First time I've paddled across the Isle of Man, so it's been on my tick list for ages. So it's uh, really good to have done it. Of course I've got to get back tomorrow, but... Um, Yeah. Oh. Not very gainly. <clears throat> oh, so comfortable. Oh, definitely. Perfect.
I just feel natural in there. It's incredible. Lovely, Stephen. Thank you. Oh, amazing. I'm going to have such a good journey, you know. Yes, remember your, remember your skeg works as well. Yes. Well, I'll see you anon. Thanks for everything, Stephen. It's brilliant. I'll see what you mean. There we are, I'm in my kayak. Luendo. She's lovely. Very, very comfortable. I'm uh, eight kilometers into the journey. Well, just over, well, nearly nine kilometers into the journey. So that's uh, just over five miles. And uh, I'm just so impressed with uh, this kayak. Um, she tracks really well, which means she holds her her, her course very very well. Uh, she's handling the the seas brilliantly. Um, you know, I just feel very very safe and secure in her. I don't feel wobbly or out of balance. Um, I'm sitting here. Um, feeling incredibly comfortable, um, easy to paddle, uh, you know, it's, um, I feel like she's got a, got speed, which, uh, which is designed to be a fast boat. Um, yeah, so, and I'm very, very comfortable in there as well. The seat is very different to my, my old seat. So my, my bum is, uh, happy, I think, happier. But, uh, you know, Stephen's put a lot of padding uh, around the, th the thigh braces. He's put a really nice um, back strap. So I feel very, very secure in the boat, but comfortable in the boat. I feel like I'm wearing the boat, which is, it, which is important. Um, yeah, so I'm, initial impressions, absolutely splendid. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Um, as, I thought, as I thought she would be, you know, when... Uh, when I first saw Stephen's design, I knew that this was a design that I'd be very interested in. And um, yeah, she's uh, she's fairly unique in in the way boats and kayaks are designed in Britain. <clears throat> uh, so uh, she's lovely, absolutely lovely, and I'm very very happy. Uh, it's not worked out as I'd hoped. Um, I've ended, ended up being swept a considerable distance um, westwards by the tide and uh, now fighting my way back to Borough Point which is um, west of uh, Isle of Whittle so 
I've probably added on another 10 or 15 kilometers to the day. Uh, the problem was that um, the land I was heading for was obscured by sea mist. So I didn't have a point of reference. And although I was paddling on a compass bearing, which I thought would be sufficient, I um, just just got swept. <laughs> the tide is a lot stronger than uh, than I'd anticipated, but not to worry. It's um, you know I'm nearly across anyway. I've got about six kilometres before I get to Scotland, and then once I'm by the shore, then I can just pick my way along, take my time. It's, uh, it's not been an easy sea either today. It's been very, very lumpy and confused in terms of its uh, wave patterns. Um, no excuses, but I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, beginning to feel it in my arms. Well, <laughs> eventually made it back on the uh, Scottish coastline. Whew. So I've got uh, probably a bit of about eight kilometres along the coastline now, back to Isle of Witton. Um, so it should be fine, a bit lumpy, but otherwise just really, really pleased with the boat, the kayak. She's just um, a real joy to paddle. Really lovely. Very seaworthy. So yeah, interesting crossing that. Um, not my finest hour, I don't think, but uh, not to worry. I'm I'm across, which is good. And uh, looking forward to getting back and. I'm going to stop in Whit Isle of Whitton for tonight, I think. I'm too tired to drive home. So I'll uh, put the tent up and chill out, which would be lovely. And uh, look back on my achievement. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Next stop, the Isle of Whitton. Arriving in the Isle of Whitton Harbour. This is going to be the last of the lumpy seas, and then it'll be nice and calm. Oh, <laughs> can't believe I did it! That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I feel really pleased with myself, despite uh, not um, getting the crossing right back. Yeah. Something in the 
Kahl, Kevin. Well, that's it. Isle of Man, tick, done.